Hey guys, Mines of Dawarnia did not disappoint us as a game, but it did disappoint us as price prediction and everything related to the price of the token. So in today's video, we are gonna talk about everything you need to know about the Mines of Dawarnia token. And I am gonna read a very, very important message from the developers of the coin itself and what happened with the token and what's gonna happen with the game as well. So let's begin. After this intro, I'm just gonna ask you for a favor. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe. And if you wanna go even further, you can click the join button here on YouTube. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm gonna read this very important message from the developers of Minds of the Warnia. And if you don't find this interesting, you can skip to the next part. But believe me, you need to hear this. We're just gonna rewind the tape a little bit and get you back to last year at almost this same time when the token's price was $4.15 and I made a video on one of these dips and explained judged by the tokenomics that the coin can go up back to $3 and I have to say sorry for everyone who got wrecked because of this I'm not a financial advisor I got wrecked as well and I sold all of my coins that I DCA'd at 18 cents. So here is the important message. Grab on your popcorn and listen to our valued players, partners and community. In light of the current uncertainty in the cryptocurrency markets, the Minds of the Warnia team would like to reach out to all of our stakeholders. Firstly, we would like to report that we had no exposure to FTX and FTX related assets and held no funds on their exchange. As a matter of standard procedure, the project holds independent custody of all operational funds and does not participate in yield farming, loans, leverage, etc. Between launching our project at the peak of the bull market, unfavorable macroeconomic conditions and the systematic failure of several major industry players, the DAR token has seen sustained sell pressure. We would like to also state that at the present time our operational budget is being sourced from funds collected in our private sale and IFO. The team cannot control the market but we're making an effort to avoid contributing to this pressure. On the development front we continue to work week in and week out to further expand the scope of the game world and provide regular improvements and updates. Since the launch of the game we have published at least one update per week and intend to keep regular updates as part of our routine. The long term success of our project depends on expanding our player base while also ensuring that the game economy is properly bound. Anti-bot measures, land economy changes and recent content upgrades like deeper depths have been a long way to achieving this. We will continue to add new features and content while dynamically adjusting the economic parameters of the game as necessary. It is often said that bear markets are for building. Our team has been in a continuous state of building since the inception of the project and we are up for the challenge. We will continue to operate in a responsible fashion while working hard to deliver a quality product. Mindfully yours, team the war. We are back to the coin price and what we learn from all of this FTX and Alameda situation is to never buy a coin that is far away from its maximum circulating, from its max supply. As you can see, Mines of the Warnia token is just a 26% out of the maximum supply. So we are gonna see more and more and more and more price suppression. In my opinion, now a year after my stupid $3 video, I can definitely say that this coin is gonna go down quite a lot before it reaches its 100% maximum supply. And most likely the price will go down with at least two zeros by then. But when is this scheduled to happen? We cannot know for sure. We also don't know how much coins does the developers have left in their wallet. And as they stated in this important message, they do use these coins to fund the game development. So the only way this coin can go up in price is if it gets adopted by a lot of retail investors and maybe institutional investors, which I honestly do not believe happening any day soon. With this said, once again, Minds of the Warnia is indeed an incredible game to play 
and maybe I'm just gonna start making more videos about it and talking related as well. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and once again, if you wanna go even further, check out the links in the description box and maybe you can smash the join button here on YouTube to support me do what I love doing. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!